see what's in the box. Oh my. Uh, oh, I forgot these are in the freaking box. PPI A404. And the A600. Oh man. Let's take a closer look at these. Holy moly. All right, here we go. This is the A404 white precision power, four times 50 watts, four channel amplifier in the freaking box. Look at this. Oh me. Look how pretty. It's even got the dang manual in here and the sticker. What? Holy moly. Oh my. Is that not gorgeous? It's got the plugs, the PPI plugs. Wow. I'm blown away. That is gorgeous. Oh man, that is so sweet. Just a little bit of scuff in here, which most all of these have, but overall it is gorgeous. Let's see what's in the other box. All right, let's check the second box here. This is the PPI A600W, which is the white, the art version, made in the USA. Got a serial number here. Two times 150 watts at four ohms. Oh man, she is gorgeous in the box too. Look at this. It's got the original manual. We've got original paperwork from when it was bought dumping car stereo let's see how much he paid for it but looks like it was service too let's take a look at that another butte clark look at that wee i think this one's even more mint than the four channel look at that artwork carolyn hall young God rest her beautiful soul. 60 amp fuse, PPI plug, just amazing condition. Never been open. Wow. Blown away, man. Blown away. All right, first up, let's take a closer look at this. PPI Art A404, this is the four channel model. You can see the two different plugs there for speakers, two four way switch input rear, input front, and then the gain controls, and the two LEDs. There's nothing else. There's no crossovers, nothing like that built into the amp. On the other side, you can see the 30 amp fuse and the power plug, which accepts eight gauge power wire. And you can see the amp here, very nice looking, but I do have to say these plugs, these Weco plugs are hateful. Uh, I did have some that use four gauge instead of eight gauge, which made it nicer. Overall, the power plugs are kind of a pain because they're so close together, you have to be really careful not to short out the amp with a positive and negative. Now we got the amp all hooked up. We're gonna power it up and show you LED on this amp. For some reason, the power LED is red, which I don't understand. A lot of times red means bad. I would think it need to be green, but anyway, let's look into it a little more. All right, here we have the PPI A404 hooked up so that we're measuring two of the four channels going to the dyno. These are the front channels here, and these wires are going to the dyno and the two different channels there. And then we have the rear channel bridge going to a four ohm big dummy load up here. And that way we can load all the channels and we measure two of the four. So that's what we'll do next. So let's try it out, see how it does. All right, so since we're doing so many different tests today, two different amps, a four channel amp and a two channel amp, and all the different modes, I'm not gonna show you all the different tests, but here with the A404, let's try first the four channel, four ohm mode, where it's rated 50 watts by four. You can see we're right at it, 49, 47 watts, and all channels are loaded here for these tests, so this is an accurate test. Now let's try two ohms, four channel mode, it's rated 100 watts by four, and we'll try a certified test. Again, we're only doing the certified test here for you guys because we have a lot of tests to run. Didn't want to bore you to death by showing you so many tests. 
but you can see here we don't quite get to the 100 watts by 4 87 and 86 watts 13.85 volts here we have the ppi a404 hooked up beautiful beautiful amp we have four gauge power and ground going into very short leads going into zero gauge the way we have it set up right now is we have the front channels going into the big dummy loads right here those are four ohm loads and then we have the rear channel bridge going into the amp dyno so we're going to measure the bridged output which should simulate um, what you'd get when you bridge this amp all right let's try that two channel test here for the a404 it's rated 200 watts for each channel, we're just measuring one of the channels. Let's try certified 40 hertz up to 1% total harmonic distortion. See how it does. Here we go, let's start up the test. Not quite there, 176 right at 14 volts. So here's the results overall with all the different tests we ran. You can see, you can pause if you like to see it closer, but Basically, at 4 ohms, we got right at rated, 2 ohms, a little bit less. So, it's kind of interesting. You'll see across the board with the PPI amps when I test them, this is kind of the normal thing. But anyway, it's a beautiful amp. Can't get over that. But let's move on to the 2-channel model, the PPI Art A600. Just another beauty shot of this amp. Look at the detail in the artwork. Imagine all the different screens it took to do that. This is the A600, rated 150 by 2 at 4 ohms, 300 by 2 at 2 ohms, 600 by 1, bridged at 4 ohms. Was not stable, anything lower than that. And this one is just absolutely perfect copy of an A600. Amazing. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. So these plugs here are really pain in the butt to get off. So what I like to do is use something like this. And I use a cloth here. And then you can just put these clamps on here and then you just wiggle slightly, so slowly very gentle back and forth, and then it'll come out. And there you have it. You can see the positive poles there. There's the female side. These are tiny, like 12 gauge at best. So I've already got one hooked up, different color black one that we're gonna use, so let's do that. All right, now that we have the A600 all wired up, let's fire up the amp dyno, try it out, see how it does. First up, four ohm stereo, it's rated 150 watts by two. Let's see what we get. Again, these tests are at 40 hertz. And yes, we meet rated power, 157 by two, 14.11. Now we'll try two ohm stereo, where it's rated 300 by two. Let's see what we get. Certified test takes up to 1% THD. So close, 294, 280, 13.75. So to bridge these PPI amps, you have to go left positive and right negative, which you can see here on the bottom. Left is the second terminal, right negative is the last one. And again, these plugs here are hateful. 12 gauge is as big as you can fit in there. <laughs> so we have to go 12 gauge wire. And this is actually kind of a generic plug. This is from an Orion, it's a Weco connector, but it works the same as the ones that go in the PPI, but the white ones look much nicer. It's just harder to come by those. So let's try it out bridge, see how it does. All right, let's test on the dyno. Four ohms bridge, rated 600 watts by one. Certified test takes us up to 1% total harmonic distortion. We're trying 40 Hertz. Not quite there, 583 at 13.8. Let's try dynamic power, four ohms bridged. This is very interesting. 
is right exactly the same, 580, 13.76. Very interesting. All right, there you have the test of the Precision Power Art A600 and the A404. Let's look at the results of the A600. You can pause it if you wanna see it, but basically, Met rated at four ohms, got ultra close to two ohms. So close, it's just, we'll just call it rated because it's only a few watts away from the rated power. Still wish it did its rated power and more, as I always do. But yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna get these amps all wrapped up, protected, so that uh, they don't get scratched up, put them back in the box. These actually did come brand new in the box. Thanks as always for the Patreon supporters. Thanks for helping me out. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Big D, till next time, I'm out of here. So those who test amps, especially using higher frequencies like one kilohertz, know that you can actually hear the whining of the transformer coming through the test. So I wanna to try to give you guys an idea here. I'm gonna do this dynamic test at two ohms and let you hear the amp. And it's raining outside, hopefully you can hear it, but I'm gonna get it close to the amp here with the microphone. You hear that little whine, 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 whine? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Especially nice when you have a completely silent lab like we have here using the batteries and the lithium and all that good stuff. So it's really nice to be able to hear what the amplifier is doing.